This could be the easiest way that I know to actually rank on the first page of Google within 24 hours. It took 45 minutes to get onto the front page of Google for this search term. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did this and so that you can do it for yourself too. So let me show you uh, the article. Okay, so the article went live yesterday at 12.14. Okay, now if I come over to Google and I scroll down here, it is in position seven. Okay, and it was up 20 hours ago. It's been on there for pretty much 20 hours. Okay, so how did I do this? Let me have a first. Let's look at the article. Okay, so the article is is crazy simple. I did nothing. I did pretty much no optimizations on this at all. Okay, so step by step guide on how to overcome challenges. Um, I did that. I did a, a little uh, section here that's going to show the the h tags that I have in here. So h1 or h2. H2, 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 pretty much no images, a couple of links off. I got a link uh, to Google Analytics and I got a link to uh, an article on Google blog optimization with uh, Bard SEO in here as well. So as you can see, it's super, super simple. One image I made basically to put my keyword in there. So my keyword be how to overcome most common blog uh, challenges. And, and I just optimized it like that. that. That's it, it's super simple. I used rank math to optimize the content and then that's it then i just put it up and i'm going to show you how to do that right now so first off okay so some some keynotes here okay you won't rank for highly competitive terms within 24 hours okay that, that's just not going to happen you most likely won't rank for highly competitive terms for this anyway so if you think they're going to rank for golf you're you're on your bike okay it's not going to happen all right so just be aware of that that's my disclaimer here all right so you're not going to rank for highly competitive terms but as somebody who needs to get traffic to their website, this is going to be awesome for you because this basically is just going to bring in traffic and bring in traffic. The more you do with these, the more traffic you're going to get in. And then when you get them to your website, that's when you convert them into sales or you convert them into your email list and you build a permission marketing system for them. Okay. Super, 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 super simple. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come over to Bard. Okay. Now, what basically we come into Bard, we just go in and we say, hey, look, Bard, do you know what the GKR is in SEO? Okay. And we're just going to change this to golden keyword ratio. Do you know the golden keyword ratio is in SEO? Yes, I do. Okay. So it gives us the breakdown of what it is. KGR equals title results over local monthly search volume. Okay. So that's what we get. Now, this basically enables you to rank on the search engines in a much easier way but we still it's getting more difficult to actually do it this way but we still have to follow this process that i'm going to show you okay so all right can you give me what i did was i just popped in like this all right can you give me a list of trending informational intent keywords for the niche content writing for blogging which adhere to the golden keyword ratio and a difficulty under 20 okay so what came up when i did this so there, there are so many terms that can appear here. And what you need to do is pick one that you want to do. Now, if a stack of them come up and they're relevant to you, well, then create all of those. All right, get them up onto your website. All right, so let's say that, um, look at, as you can see here, there's loads. How to be successful content writer for bloggers. Search volume 120, keyword difficulty 14. How to monetize your blog. Search 130, 15. How to analyze and improve your blog's SEO. Uh, 110 keyword difficulty 13. So there's lots and lots of different ones. For me, as I said, I chose the one that was uh, how to overcome blogging challenges. Okay, which you can see here. So how to overcome blogging challenges in my title. Uh, how to overcome the most common blogging challenges, and also you can see it in my URL here. How to overcome the most common blogging challenges. Now, what you have to do once you have your keyword is you're going to come to Google, and you're going to type in. Oh, sure, I've got it here, don't I? So you're going to type in how to overcome the most common blogging challenges and you're going to find the first result that's actually here now if you can see my result what are the common challenges to blogging now i've laid up uh, my piece of content just like his okay that's it just like his and look at his now his has the added benefit of being on linkedin so it's getting that parasite juice of being actually on linkedin to rank for this keyword but we're still going to fight it okay we're going to fight against this so he's got seven points okay within this content there's no images at all so we're just going to add to what he actually has optimize it and or optimize it a little bit and just kind of put it up onto our website 
and it's super, super simple, okay? All you're going to do in BARD is you're going to come to this. You're going to say, what semantic point are they missing from this article? And you're just going to grab content, okay? You're going to paste it in here, all right? And sometimes, I'm not, I hope this works, but sometimes Bard kind of comes back and goes, oh, there's too much text in there, but just try it again and try it again and try it again. Because what it gives you is is really, really important for you. The, uh, the missing semantic point in the article is the need to diversify your content strategy. The article focuses on six most common blogging challenges and provides tips and strategies for overcoming. However, it does not explicitly address the need to diversify your content strategy. Okay, so what have we got now? We have a piece of content that is six great points from the original, and we've got a semantic point here related to the, the keyword that we're targeting and that we want to put into our content. So all we do is we come back over to our sheet and we say, okay, what Fleisch Kincaid grade reading level scale is this at? Okay, so let's come back in here. We're going to grab this again. And the Flesh Kincaid reading scale basically is a scale of how difficult it is to read a piece of content based on English reading levels. So grade eight, grade nine, grade 10, 11, et cetera. Okay. So sometimes this happens. All right. Now, if this happens, don't worry. Okay? Now, Bard is still growing and still learning. So there are issues with it. So we can come over to Hemingway and this is going to tell us the, the Flesh Kincaid uh, reading ease level. Okay. And we paste our content in here and it's grade nine. Okay. So our competitions level is grade nine. Now, grade nine is a brilliant level for online marketing. Okay. For online content creation, because most of the words or most of the the readers online actually are the average, the aggregate are a grade nine reading level. And Google knows this. So you've got to be creating your content in a grade nine reading level. So what do we do with this? Okay, so we know that this is grade nine. You could just come to Bard and you could say, Bard, can you rewrite this in grade 10 reading level? Okay, we're just going to paste our content in there. Boom. Okay, so what it's doing is Bard's actually going through our content and actually creating it into a grade 10. Okay. So there you go. You got that in there as a grade 10. And now you can say to Bard, can you again rewrite this as grade nine? Okay. And again, what you're doing is you're going one way, then you're going another way. So you're saying, okay, so this is the issue. First off, it was in grade nine. Now we want to change it to grade 10 and we're going to ask it to rewrite it back into grade nine again. And then all you're going to do is you're going to take that content. You're going to go over to your website, your WordPress blog or whatever it actually is. You're going to click add your new post. You're going to paste your post in here. You're going to update it with all your kind of like your, your heading tags, your H tags. You're going to go back into Bard and you're going to make sure that you also pick up the semantic point that it was missing out on. Okay. So you're going to grab that in here and you're going to pop it into here down at the bottom. Okay. And what this is going to do is this is going to give you uh, the, the extra point in there. But then you're going to come back into the article that you've taken the content from. And you're going to look at everything that that article actually does. Okay. So you're going to look at these. You're going to look, okay. So what it's done here is it's created links to the particular sections within here. Okay. And then you're going to go and create those within your content as well. All right. So I show you quickly how to do that. So what I did in here was, let's say that this is, as you can see, I laid up seven things, finding your niche, generating great blog content ideas. Then I just covered this over here like this. Okay. As you will notice from back here, I just copied it, finding your niche. I added a little bit extra finding your niche where to focus your blogging efforts. Then you come down here and you come to advanced. Okay. Then you're just going to make a HTML anchor, like finding your niche. Okay. Something simple like that. Something that's memorable. You're going to come back up to your link here or your piece of content here, and you're just going to click a link. Then you're going to put in hashtag, which is going to link directly hashtag finding your niche. And then when somebody comes onto your page, if you click or if they click on it, then what's going to happen is they're going to go to that point and you do that for all of the points or what is going on within the article that you're looking to overtake or you're looking to get on that front page for. And finally, just to give it a little bit more, you know, oomph is you need to submit it to something like Twitter or Pingomatic 
or Bing indexing. Uh, they index now within Rank Math, or you can have the plugin uh, for indexing as well. Okay, and what this is going to do is this is going to help you, your site, get indexed much quicker. And then you can basically get your your content up to the front page. So as you can see here, how to overcome the most blogging challenges. I just put a link in there in my Twitter. So anyway, look, really, really hope that you enjoyed that. It's super, super simple to do. And it just drives traffic. That's pretty much what it is. Now, my name is Kieran Doyle. This is the Blank Page Business. Really hope you've enjoyed this. If you do have, uh, give me a like and a subscribe, guys. My return returning visitors, thank you so much. Anyway, keep it easy. Let me know how it goes.